Hey y'all, Connect Farmer here, and welcome back to the 20th episode in my FS17 course play tutorial series. And this episode, a little different, I am here on Cherry Hills, which is a new map that just came out a couple days ago by Stevie. And uh, I had a couple questions come up about this because of the shape of the fields in this map. Uh, if you're going to play this on single player, this is one of those maps where, uh, you know, course play is your friend. It's a huge map, giant fields. You're definitely going to want to use course play, but if you look at the map, a lot of the fields have odd shapes to them and kind of curved corners. Well, uh, the hired worker can have a problem with those sometimes, and even course play can have issues with that. Uh, but there are things you can do in course play to help uh, get around some of these problems. And so I wanted to kind of show that off in this episode. So to start off, I wanted to kind of just uh, approach this field like we normally would, right? So we would use field work mode and come over here to the course generation tab and select field one. And I always like to uh, dial this down to 13 meters and then we're going to start in the southeast corner and we're going to head west and so we'll generate that course and if we preview it you can see that the course looks pretty normal I mean we're just going to go down and back down and back nothing nothing too weird about it right like that should be a, a fine course to run so let's go ahead and run this course and we'll take a look at what happens here Okay, so I'm just going to select uh, first waypoint and drive course. Alright, so there you can see we've run into our first issue. Our combine has hit that sign and it can no longer move forward and even if it did, that uh, telephone pole would be the next thing it would wind up hitting because it's just uh, too close to those. So what I'm going to do is reload the game and then I'm going to show you kind of an alternative method. Okay, so I'm back here in the game. I reloaded so the field is ready to harvest again here. And I'm going to open up course play and we'll go into field work mode and then open our course generation tab. We'll select field one and again I'm going to dial my width down to 13 meters. We're going to start in the same corner, which is the southeast corner, and we're going to head west. But now I'm going to actually specify a headland. And so a headland is where the vehicle will do passes around the perimeter of the field. And so for this example, we're going to press this up arrow because I want to do two headlands. So this number here is how many headlands you're going to do. And then this allows you to specify whether you're going to do counterclockwise or clockwise. Well, since I'm running a harvester, my pipe is on the left side. So I want to do clockwise headlands so that as it goes around the field, my pipe is facing out away from the crop so I can drive alongside with the semi and empty the harvester. This button over here allows you to specify whether you want to do the back and forth portion of the field first or the headland first. So in this example we're going to do the headland then the back and forth. If we have it click this way we're going to do the back and forth and then the headland. So the reason why you do that is when you're harvesting we want to do this. We want to take the headland off first and then do the back and forth. If you're plowing cultivating seeding then you typically want to do it the other way. You want to do the back and forth and then the perimeter around the outside. So we want to do clockwise headland, then the back and forth, and we're going to do two headlands, and then we can generate this course. Now if we preview this course, you can see here that we actually go around the course, or around the field two times, before we start our back and forths. And you also notice the back and forth lanes actually come to this center headlands lane. So when I specify two, you're actually pretty much getting yourself one and a half tractor widths of headland. And really on this field, two, you know, I kind of tested this out. 
Three is a bit much, two is pretty good. So two should be fine on this. Uh, depending on the shape of the field, the complexity of the field, if you have like notches or something that you're trying to deal with, you may want to do more headlands. But uh, two is pretty good for this. It gives it enough room that the combine can do its turn maneuvers on the actual field itself and it never has to really leave the field. So now that we've got that set up, one thing you'll notice because we're doing a headland, the start point's a little bit different. It's kind of over there. So I can go ahead and turn on my harvester and I'm just going to sort of dive in over here and then kind of get myself lined up with it. That should be good. And then I'm just going to say first waypoint drive course. And now we're just going to follow along with this while it harvests the field. And uh, I'll let it do, uh, uh, you know, all the perimeters and we'll do a couple of the back and forths. And I'll just fast forward the video so that you can kind of get a feel of, um, you know, how well it handles an odd shaped field. And, you know, so that I can show you that it doesn't have any issues uh, with obstacles on the field edge. All right, so there you have it. As you can see, the harvester is now able to successfully make turns on the field without having to worry about any of the obstacles at the field edge. Uh, this is a pretty useful technique that helps manage courses on odd-shaped fields like this. Hopefully you found this video useful. Uh, if you did, would you please give it a thumbs up? That helps a lot. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. If you're new to my channel or new to Courseplay, you may want to check out my Courseplay tutorial playlist. I'll leave a link in the video description. And be sure to subscribe for more Farming Simulator videos. I'm Kentucky Farmer. Thanks for watching.